。刘培元的英文教师正确发音篇啊，从经典演说中练习正确发音啊，这下啊。所以我只是念啊，重点在发音，是从我这个是从啊，我另外一个频道《经典演说》中啊摘出来的啊，所以你要是对他意识不太了解，你就去看那个《经典演说篇》啊。那因为我的频道，因为我的这个影片很多啊，所以你就是看看标题啊，从标题还有从收图去找比较快啊。啊，欢迎小额赞助啊，请分别订阅我的十五个 YouTube 频道啊，这是奥巴马。啊，第一任就职演说下期啊，我们继续看啊。那你当然从上期看，这样子意思会比较、嗯、会比较连贯一点啊。啊，所以这个我不露面有个原因，就抽烟了、啊。这个不抽烟讲不出话来啊，所以有的停顿的时候就点烟了啊,啊。这个这样子、啊、看不到人啊，抽烟比较没关系。As far as common defense, we reject as far as the choice between our safety and our ideals. Our founding fathers faced with perils that we can scarcely imagine, drafted a charter to assure the rule of law and the rights of a man. A charter expanded by the blood of generations. Those ideas still light world, and we will not give them up for expediency's sake. And so, to all the other people and the governments who are watching today, from the grandest capitals to the small village where my father was born, know that America is the front of each nation and every man, woman, and child who seeks a future of peace and dignity, and we are ready. To lead once more. We call that the earlier generations faced the unfascism and the communism not just with missiles and tanks, but with the sturdy alliances and enduring convictions. They understood that our power alone cannot protect us, nor does entitle us to do as we please. Instead. They know that our power grows through this prudent use of security, emanates from the justness of our cause, the force of our example, the tempering qualities of human and of strength. We are the keepers of this legacy, guided by these principles once more. We can meet those new threats that demand even greater effort. Even greater cooperations and understanding between nations. We will begin to responsibly leave Iraq to its people and forge a hard-earned peace in Afghanistan. With old friends and former foes, we will work tirelessly to lessen the nuclear threat and roll back the specter of a warming planet. We will not apologize for our way of life. Nor will we waver in its defense, and for those who seek to advance the arms by inducing terror and slaughtering innocents, we say to you now that our spirit is stronger and cannot be broken. You cannot outlast us, and we will defeat you. For we know that our patchwork heritage is a strength, not a weakness. We are a nation of Christians and Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and non-believers. We are shaped by every language and culture, drawn from every end of this earth, and because we have tasted the bitter swell of civil war and segregation, and emerged from the dark chapter stronger and more united, we cannot help but believe. That old hatreds shall some day pass, that the lines of tribes shall soon dissolve, that as the world grows smaller, our、uh, common humanity shall reveal itself, and that America must play its part in ushering in a new era of peace. To the Muslim world, we seek a new way forward, based on mutual interest and mutual respect. To those leaders around the globe who seek 
to sow conflict or blame your society's ills on the West. Know that your people will judge you on what you can build, not what you destroyed. To those who claim to power through corruption and deceit in the silencing of dissent, know that you are on the wrong side of history, but that we will extend a hand if you are willing to unclench your fist. To the people of poor nations, we pledge to work alongside you to make your forests flourish and let the clean waters flow to nourish starved bodies and feed hungry mice. And to those nations like ours to enjoy relative plenty, we say we can no longer afford indifference to the suffering outside our borders. Nor can we consume the world's resources without regard to effect. For the world has changed and we must change with it. Yes, we consider the road that unfolds before us we remember with humble gratitude those brave Americans who, at this very hour, patrol far off the deserts and distant mountains. There is something to tell us, just as the fallen heroes who lie in Arlington whispered through the ages. We honor them not only because they are the guardians of our liberty, but because they embody the spirit of service a willingness to find many in something greater than themselves. And yet, at this moment, a moment that will define generation, it is precisely the spirit that must inhabit us all. For as much as government can do and must do, it is ultimately the faith and determination of the American people upon which the nation relies. It is the kindness to take in a stranger when the levers break, the selfishness of workers who would rather cut their hours than see a friend lose their job with seasons through our darkest hours. It is the firefighters' courage to storm the stairway filled with smoke, but also a parent's willingness to nature a child that finally decides our fate. Our challenges may be new. The instruments with which we meet them may be new. But those values upon which our success depends, honesty and hard work, courage and fair play, tolerance and curiosity, loyalty and patriotism, the things are old, the things are true. They have been the quiet force of progress through our history. What is demanded then is a return to the truth. What is required of us now is a new era of responsibility, a recognition on the part of every American that we have duties to ourselves, a nation, and the world, duties that we do not grudgingly accept, but rather cease gladly, firm in the knowledge that there is nothing to satisfy to the spirit, so define of our character than giving our all to a difficult task. This is the price and promise of citizenship. This is the source of our confidence, the knowledge that God calls on us to shape in our certain destiny. This is the meaning of liberty and our creed. Why men and women and children of every race and every faith can join celebration across this magnificent mall and when a man whose father less than 60 years ago might not have been served a local restaurant can now stand before you to take a most sacred oath. So let us mark this day with remembrance the who we are and how far we have traveled. In the year of America's birth, in the coldest months, a small band of patriots hurtled by dying campfires of shores of an icy river. The capital was abandoned, the enemy was advancing, the snow was stained with blood. At a moment when our account of our revolution was most in doubt, the father of our nation ordered this words a rat to the people. Let it be told to the future world that in the depth of wonder 
with nothing but hope and virtue could survive. The city and the country, alarmed at once common danger, came forth to meet it. America, in the face of our common dangers in this winter of our hardship, let us remember this time less worse. With help and virtue, let us brave once more the icy currents and joy where storms may come. Let it be said about our children's children that when we test it, we refuse to let the journey end. That we do not turn back, nor our children. Uh, nor did we falter. And with eyes fixed on the horizon and God's grace upon us, we carry forth the greater gift of freedom and deliver it safely to future generations. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Uh, 我们这几天念到这里啊。